And um, the first page uh, basically delineates the contract with PLS for the um, staff who are the PLP staff um, and shows you the services and um, the costs, um, less a credit for the portion of those staff who are paid for out of the Khalifa budget. And of note here uh, is that Linda has decided to dial back to four days a week um, starting next year. We all want to see how that works out. Uh, are there any questions about that page? Um, the next page is uh, the all over budget for PLP, um, for all programs within PLP, 0910 10 compared to 1011. Any questions about that? And I think for all of you, this looks familiar to what was our old system ones only. It is an aggregation um, for the new agency. Uh, page P21 shows the uh, administrative cost uh, and the drop-in cost largely does reflect the drop-in in, in uh, Linda's time. Page P22 includes the reference costs, um, most of which are, as you know, um, contractual services, um, both for reference question answering, uh, for the PLS staff who handle um, uh, the reference program, and for uh, MOBAC web support. And then the delivery costs, um, where um, you see the, um, the broken down by the costs per brand, per us uh, old system. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, forgive me, if you write, I just don't know. Um, the contractual reference services that go on? Uh, we, we contract, we have to. Here's the budget conversation. Yeah, this Here's is what shows up in the contract. Okay. okay. So, uh, first of all, in the plan of service, and, and the state requires that you do question answering, second level question answering. Many years, oh, many years ago, I don't know, five, six, seven years ago, we decided to get out of that business and to contract it out. So our reference questions from the system, second level, the ones you can't answer at your own library, are sent to, um, at that time it was MCLS, and now it's Southern California Cooperative Library. So, whatever the thing. Anyhow, um, that is a contractual service that we um, that we have for our question answering. We also have been using. Um, we have some money, and we use that sort of towards some of the Gale databases that you all get. We have offset some of the costs there. So, there are other items listed under contractual services. Um, we have, okay, um, we have, we do some question answering on our own, um, and that is we do, we still have a database for songs and some of the other things, so those things are done in-house and not sent to MCL, or to, or MCLC. Um, okay, database services, we have some uh, project coordinator. We have, we still have a project coordinator who works 10 hours a week. That's contract. That's a contract. It's not a staff position, and the MoBAP website support. So we are doing as little reference in house as we possibly can at this point. Now, whether Alterama will change that, I don't know. I don't. We'll we'll have to see over time. But um, we are not going to have a second level reference again. That that decision was made years ago, and I think we'll we'll try to stick with it. If there should be, Alterama should set up um, and, and take off, and we will again cooperate with the Southern California group because they have a full reference center and they have been doing, um, as now, um, a couple of our libraries have been doing it, but more of them. So um, 
We'll take the lead from them and let them, and contract with them to do that. Anything else? Those were the items I think under that. And then as you see, the databases um, uh, that uh, are being, we're using the CLSA dollars to buy down the cost of the member libraries of the uh, subscriptions to the EBSCO databases, which I think all of us really appreciate. Okay, um, then on page P23, we have the System Advisory Board um, and their 2,165 expected dollars of revenue next year. Um, and then um, under the System Operations category, our sort of miscellaneous category, um, we have a big chunk of money that is the members' contract costs of those databases because the contract is a PLP. Um, they pay a portion of it from the reference funds. The remainder is the responsibility of the local participating libraries. Um, they annually bill us. We annually pay. Um, and, um, and then uh, the committee support the easy aid grants that we talked about, the $20,000 appears under here. Um, and um, the, uh, the source of revenues for that. So, and then the, um, the last shows the grant that we was talked about from a state library that we anticipate getting soon. And that's the only one we know for sure we're getting. So we're not at this point budgeting for other, the other three we talked about, those uh, will be, those budgets will be amended uh, and the uh, executive committee will adopt those amendments. But because we know we're getting uh, $79,000 for the um, Alterama and career transition and the mega media licenses, um, we are actually budgeting that so that as soon as we get the money, we can begin to spend it. And page P25 shows you kind of the um, revenue, the budget detail kind of by system, particularly in terms of revenues from both membership fees and the CLSA allocations. Uh, so you can see how those vary from system to system. And are there any questions about any of these budget documents? Any other questions? Well, seeing none, I will take a motion to adopt the Pacific Library Partnership budget for fiscal year 10 11. So moved. It's, it's been moved and second. Any discussion? In that oh, case. Wait, Jane found something I, I knew that we need to change before the Pacific Library. Is that the CRSA? Oh, okay. We're not doing that. Okay. 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 All right. All in favor of the PLP budget? Aye. Opposed? That's adopted. Thank you. Yes. So now to the um, plan of service. 